Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I had a few minutes this evening to get in the kitchen, and uh, you know, I told y'all here a few weeks back that Troy's brother and sister and niece and nephew and uh, some of his first cousins came, and we had a wonderful visit and family gathering. Well, my sister-in-law, Irma, which is married to Troy's brother, She's given me recipes all through the years, and I've already done some of her recipes for y'all, and I told you where I got it. Well, she gave me a recipe for a, a salad that's just perfect for the hot summertime. And we're going to get this made and in the icebox, and it needs to set about a couple of hours. That'll be two. And then we kind of, you know, firms up and sets, and then we can dish it up and have some for our evening meal. So, let y'all learn another new one that's delicious. Now, don't say, ugh, I don't like those ingredients. Wait till you taste them all mixed up together, and I think you'll like it. So, y'all come on over to the butcher block, and let's get this salad mixed up in the ice box, and then we'll have some of it. I forgot to tell y'all, I think, Rona had another five kittens. So, I'm, I'm going to take her to be fixed when this is over. And what happened, the tomcat came back to visit while she was still nursing that other set of kittens. So I, I don't know, I didn't know that would happen. But anyway, we have kittens again. And I'm not going to go take pictures because it's hot out there. But their little eyes are open. They're, you know, they've been here a little bit. There's two orange ones, a black one, a gray one. And is there two orange ones or three orange ones? I know there's a black one and a brindley gray one. Maybe there's three orange ones. But anyhow, there's five of the little boogers. I have a friend that likes to have cats at her barn to help catch the rats and all. So she will probably take the kittens and let them live at her barn. Because it's hard to get rid of kittens. The little boogers, they're cute, but they grow up to be cats. Okay. Back to the salad. Let's get back over here to the butcher block and we'll get busy. Okay, the first thing we need to do is uh, open and drain our cans of fruit. And this is uh, the Mandarian orange segments. And I'm going to drain them real good. Save that juice. It's good stuff. And then we've got crushed pineapple, I mean pineapple chunks. To drink that juice. It's good if you just add it to unsweetened tea. It gives it a sweet flavor, but it also has a little bit of the fruit flavors to it, and it's good. Okay, now I've got to get a can of crushed pineapple. I made the mistake of getting the tidbits. So let me run and grab a can of crushed pineapple. I'll be right back. I'm hopping around like Chester Dillon on Gunsmoke. I, I don't know what I did. I went to reach down and give the cat a little can of food and something happened on my knee and actually it sounded like it popped and honey i was hop along cassidy after that I, it's been giving me a fit for several days now it hurts my daughter came up and brought me a um a sleeve a compression sleeve thing that's got copper in it and it helps to reinforce it, but good grief, I feel like a baby. My knee, it's a lot better. I couldn't do anything but hop, just hop around on one leg and hold on from one thing to the other. Now that was cute, I tell you. But anyhow, it's better, but I'm still, when you go out our door over here, there's a step down, because that used to all be carport, and we took part of it in and made that little mud room to go back to the sunroom that we added on. So I have this step every time we go in and out, and that hadn't been any fun with this bungled up knee. And I don't do good with any kind of slow me downs. I don't like them. Troy almost wants to laugh at me because he's always telling me to sit down and rest and stop doing and this and that. And 
and now I've had to do that some, and it just drives me crazy, but that's why I hadn't been in the kitchen doing, and my knee didn't want me to stand up long enough to do anything. It hurt. Okay, I'm using a three ounce package of Jell-O, and uh, Irma said you can use any flavor you want to, but that peach is real good. So I did what she said, and I got peach. Now this is my wrong can of tidbits there. So I'm gonna stir this up, and get my Jell-O in the wet fruit here. Then we're going to add some Cool Whip and some cottage cheese to it. Smells good. Pineapple, oranges, peach, cottage cheese and Cool Whip. 16 ounces of cottage cheese. And you want the small curd. And of course, folks, I did not. There it went. I didn't get the light. I just got regular cottage cheese. So I'm going to stir that around. I love getting new recipes from the family that they've used them and made and they work. You know, that's good. Now let me get my cool whip open. I feel like a flamingo bird. I need to stand there and hold one leg up in the air because it's hurting. I could have, again, could have made homemade Cool Whip, but you know what? This was on sale for a dollar at Kroger, so I figured I'd just let them make it. We had a good visit this weekend. Our son came in and we got to visit with him. That was sweet. Hadn't seen him since Christmas, so that was a good visit. Okay, I've got it mixed up. And it took a can of crushed pineapple and a can of pineapple tidbits, a can of mandarin oranges, a three ounce package of Jell-O, any flavor, 16 ounces of small curd cottage cheese, and 10 ounces of Cool Whip. And I put in eight ounces, so that should be okay. So let me get it in the ice box and let it kind of set up, and then we'll come back and taste of it, and give y'all a thumbs up or down, because like, this is my first time to make it. So I'll see y'all back here in a little bit. I wanted to show y'all, it may look a little bit pinky because it's in this red bowl, but it's real uh, pale. So the advantage of using a different flavor other than the peach jello would be to color it, you know, the color that you would want it to be. The peach flavor is not coming through at all. Um, if I had used strawberry, then it would be a pinker color. So that's up to you. But I've got some plated on some of the lettuce that I grew in my arrow garden. And you can see it looks pretty, pretty pale, but it tastes heavenly. And it's got lots of protein in it from the cottage cheese. I'm going to show y'all my arrow garden, what's left of it. I've harvested just about all of the lettuce, but this one just keeps producing. And see back there, that tall one, I've got basil. I'm just about ready to take it all out and replant. I just love this thing. One thing about this salad is that when you add that 16 ounces of uh, cottage cheese to it, you've added 48 grams of protein. And had I made my own whipped cream, I would have had more protein in the whipped cream, but the Cool Whip, you know, I would think to add that to my list, and I went and looked on the container, and it doesn't have any protein. So it's all man-made. But if I'd have used what the cow made and whipped it up, we'd have protein. So if you want to add extra protein to it, uh, make your own whipped cream, plus the cottage cheese, then this will be a very high protein. It's as good as yogurt, like for breakfast with a piece of toast. But I like 
stuff like this with um, for like a noonday light little light meal so you could even do some little ham roll-ups on the side with it and and uh, it would be a very filling light lunch so anyhow that's something that y'all can make because I just tried it Troy's eating it he I took him a dish out there he likes it so if he likes it it's pretty good because he got where he's he never has been picky, but lately he hadn't had an appetite. I told y'all that. It's not fair. I've dieted all my life. And here he's lost 70 pounds just because he ain't hungry. When are you not hungry? For Pete's sakes, there's good food in the house. But he, it is ain't a bit fair because he's just lost, lost all this weight without even trying. I wish he could get well and eat like he used to because it's a lot more fun to cook when you have somebody to eat everything than it is to try to find somebody to give it to. Anyway, I'm sure that it, um, between us all, we'll eat this salad though because it's not heavy, it's good, and it's good for you. And another thing, I am going to do a video pretty soon. I've been, while I couldn't do anything else, I've been in there just making aprons, getting ready for orders. But I was able to get two bolts of the canning fabric. So if any of y'all have been wanting to get one of the canning aprons, I do have, um, I don't know how many yards is on a bolt, but I know I could probably make at least eight aprons. So um, if you're going to want one, you might email me. My email is below and let me know that you want one. They are $45. That includes the shipping. And, I, and they're completely lined. The back side, you can turn it around and use the back side as an apron. And um, turn around on, on making them and getting them in the mail is usually within a week. So if you're interested in a canning apron, I did get some more canning apron fabric. And I still have a lot of the other fabrics, but what I've been doing is just taking and making one apron from each one and I'll have it ready to go. So if y'all were to order and um, like pay on PayPal, I could put it in the mail the next day. So if you need a birthday gift or something, I'm hoping to get that video up the end of this week. I'm going to try to finish sewing the ones I have cut out. And um, it takes a while because I pre-shrink my fabric and then I get it cut out and I pin the apron together with the strings and all in it and then you turn it inside out press it and then I top stitch all the way around it so when you wash it you don't have it yanking one way or the lining and the top one way or another it stays together really well so anyhow it's a process and it takes me some time but I can usually do a turnaround within a week so I'm gonna get this uh, salad back in the ice box where it'll stay good and cold and I'm going to eat this one that's all pretty up with the lettuce. And tonight's our Bible study at church, so it won't be long. I'll be getting ready to go to Bible study and uh, hear the good word of the Lord, and that'll make my day even better. Now, just in case I hadn't told y'all the last one or two times on here, each day that we have is a gift. It's the present. Yesterday is history, and this is the present, and tomorrow is a mystery. Make the most of the day that God has given you. It may not be here tomorrow, so if there's anything you want to tell somebody that you care about, take time today to tell them you love them, you appreciate them, you thank them for what they've done for you, things like that, because, man, life is short at the best. I done spent nearly 70 years of mine, and I don't know where in the Sam Hill it went. I'd like to have a few years of do-over, but we don't get that chance. So what's left? Every day I'm going to try to get all the sweetness out of it that I can. And I'm going to make some sweet, lasting memories with my family, my grandkids, and my kids, so that when I'm gone and they talk about me, there'll be something nice and not something ugly. I'm going to try to be sweet and kind. The good Lord bless y'all. Thank y'all for being so faithful to watch and being so kind to me through this season of our life that's so unusual for us. And we're going to get through it. We're getting through it. The Lord is helping us and strengthening us. And Troy's not any better. He's not any worse. Um, 
We're just living each day. Y'all take care of yourselves, hug your family and friends, and by all means, keep watching for another video. Hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I upload one. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. I'm trying trucking toward 10,000 and I'm so excited. So help me spread the word about my channel. Somebody that you think would like cooking and yakking, I'd appreciate it if they'd subscribe. And if you like it, hit that thumbs up. That makes me feel good when you say, man, I like that. Okay, y'all, I guess I've rattled it up. And this hadn't been a big old huge dish, but I think I've talked too much. So I'm going to get off of here. And oh, also I went to the post office and I had two beautiful cards. And I had a package with some pot holders and things in it. I'm going to show it to you because I, I want to call the name of the ones that gave it to me. So probably on the next video, I'll show y'all what I got. One card was a beautiful card with an apron order in it. And the other one was thinking of you and telling me that what her ch what my channel had meant to her. And um, then, then I got this surprise big old envelope with a mug mug um, mat and pot holders and a scrunchie to do the dishes that she had made by hand. I just love surprises in the mail. That just made my day. So anyway, I'll show y'all that on the next video. I'm going to tell you, good Lord bless you one more time, then I'm going to get out of here.